And now here's our featured presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to today's 2018 Best of DAG presentation sponsored by the Society of Decision Professionals, which is entitled Real Life Framing, a Hurricane Harvey Case Study. I would like to introduce you to the speakers you will be hearing from today. Our featured speaker for today is Eleanor Bergen. So this is basically a picture of the Gulf of Mexico. It's just a satellite picture. And you can see Houston is, is right about here. Now this is the same scale of the map with Hurricane Harvey. So you can see it was a pretty big storm. So we can see that Hurricane Harvey is a, is a, was, a, was, a, was a big storm that basically took up the entire Gulf of Mexico. And as it was coming ashore, in, in, in general, if you live along the Gulf Coast of Texas, you know that you basically live in a giant coastal floodplain. So we know when these storms come that they can be one, damaging from a wind perspective, and two, that there's always a potential for flooding. But I think what happened with Harvey is that no one really truly anticipated the, the magnitude of the flooding that we were going to experience. So when the rain started, you know, we all knew it was going to be bad. A lot of people, you know, proactively evacuated from what, you know, traditionally low-lying areas, but the entire city received um, anywhere between 50 and 60 inches of rain over the course of two to three days. And if you think about it, um, Houston actually, I always thought that Seattle was a really wet city, but Houston received more annual rainfall than Seattle, and we get about 48 inches to 49 inches of rain annually. And we received all of that in the course of two to three days. And it just, there was just nowhere for the water to go. You know, this is our freeway system by downtown. I mean, it was just, you couldn't go anywhere. Everybody that if you just happened to get stuck out, you were just kind of out of luck and the water just rose and rose. Um, and the, the freeways that were not underwater became our new helicopter landing pad. And because that was the only flat space that was not underwater where they could rescue people. And just in every neighborhood in my neighborhood, they were rescuing people off their roof. You know, they were it was just, and they were setting them down on the interstate. Whoever thought that they would be walking down the middle of one of the busiest roads in the United States, it was, there was a lot of rain. 